Five in a row. We've seen five days of gains on Wall Street consecutively. All three uh, major averages closed to get positive territory again today. The Dow and the S&P now both officially out of correction territory and up more than 10 percent from their lows reached on Christmas Eve, December 24th. Earlier today in Washington, the time, the Fed Chairman Jay Powell sounding relatively upbeat about the U.S. economy, warning, though, of the potential impact of a global slowdown. Take a listen. If you ask me what am I worried about, I would say the U.S. economy is solid. As I mentioned, there's good momentum going into this year. The, the principal worry I would have is, is really global growth. If you look at Asia, look at Europe, you're seeing slowing in growth. And the question will be, how much does that affect us? All right, here now is Alfredo Ortiz, Job Creators Network President and CEO. Alfredo attended that event uh, earlier in, in Washington. And we're also joined by Hadley Heath Manning, the Independent Women's Foreign Policy Director. So welcome to you both. And Alfredo, since you were in the room, let me start with you today. I know the criticism of this Fed chairman, say, before last Friday, is that he eh, didn't quite get it, didn't under, right. you know, get what the markets were looking for, didn't get business necessarily, what was really going on in the economy. Does he get it now? What do you make of him? Well, uh, first of all, Connell, uh, Happy New Year. I think you since too. we last talked, if you remember, you had a guest that said that the Fed has no impact on the economy. Well, we absolutely know that that's not true. The Fed absolutely has an impact on the economy. And probably the best thing about today's speech is that it could have been a lot worse. He basically didn't say much at all. Um, the best news and the good news is that he did say that the economy and the fundamentals of the United States are there. Yes, there's some easing, obviously, on the global front. Uh, but, but, you know, the Fed has to understand that sometimes his off-the-cuff remarks really do impact the economy. I think we had about 250-point intra intraday uh, swings there, a lot driven by this uh, mm -hmm. statement that he said that he seemed like the balance sheet was a little bit worried about it being too heavy and there's too much credit right. out there. So, you know, certainly but, impact but, but the financial not... markets, to your point. Oh, and yeah, absolutely. They, yeah. Um, Hadley, your view on how the Fed chairman kind of sees things and whether he's right. As he mentioned in that clip, he's worried about a slowdown globally, which most, you know, most observers of the economy are. So the idea is to kind of wait back, see what happens if China and the rest of the economy slows maybe more than people expect. He's at the ready. You think he, he gets it? He's on, on top of things now? Well, you know, this is a non-traditional Fed chairman. We could say we have a non-traditional um, president, but certainly Jay Powell doesn't come from the traditional, you know, academic background as an right. economist. He comes from a completely different world. And so I think a lot of people were looking at uh, the, the Fed minutes that came out from the December meeting earlier this week. They came out yesterday and we're saying, you know, what is the Fed thinking? And, and certainly his remarks give us a little bit fuller picture um, that, yes, he is dovish, at least when it comes to the United States economy. He thinks we mm -hmm. have momentum. You look at our labor market, certainly it's undeniable that we've been, you know, oh, yeah. adding so many jobs and people re-entering the workforce. That is excellent news. That means we have room to grow. Um, however, when he's looking internationally, and even there are certain aspects of the U.S. economy that I would say should give us pause, for example, our GDP to debt ratio. Um, but he's taking all these things into account, and I think that's why. Which he so did I would say, say he was a little point, worried about. It's encouraging. Yep. yep. No, I, I hear right. you. Alfredo, let me ask you about what Hadley brought up. Up on on jobs because you might have a sense of that from you know people That's you're right. dealing with and what are you seeing out there particularly small business I mean we have, to, we have a yeah. lot of good numbers even the initial jobless claims again good today right. all, the, all the data has been good what are you seeing yeah, Connell, that's absolutely right. I mean, again, the fundamentals of this economy are, are very, very strong. I mean, the low regulatory environment, the low tax environment exists still there. Our small business owners are hiring. As you know, there are, you know, 7 million unfilled jobs in this country right now. And so really optimism continues to be high. Um, and our small business owners continue to hire. That's no the best slowdown part. there. No slowdown. No, there's no slowdown. Okay. I mean, fundamentals are strong and looking good.